This is iHeart Communities. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. All right, well, summer is underway and we still have a lot more summer to go. And if you haven't found great activities, camps, or things for your children to do, help and hope is around and present and on the way. In fact, you might even think about changing plans when you hear about Blueprint for Summer STL. I am joined by Allie Seacott, who is the programs manager with Blueprint for Summer. Allie, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So cool. What an innovative idea. First of all, tell me where Blueprint for Summer STL came from. Who thought of this and what's the idea behind it? Sure. Blueprint for Summer STL is in our third year. It was started by Maxine Clark, former uh, the founder of Build-A-Bear Workshop. Is that right? She is really plugged into what we truly deal with and need in our area. I mean, she gets it with us and kids. I agree. Maxine and and her husband, Bob Fox, started the Clark Fox Family Foundation in 2004, and Blueprint for Summer was born out of that foundation, but is funded by a group of community donors who believe that all kids deserve access to a great summer opportunity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they are very right about that. And I'm looking at this list here at your website at BlueprintForSummer.com, and I see where the, the shared value comes from. Totally get these names and partners that are in on this. So let's talk about it then. How does it work? Uh, How do people get access to great summer activities? Yeah, Blueprint for Summer is a free web-based mobile-enabled database. And so what that means is all you need is any sort of phone, tablet, or computer, and you just go to the website, blueprint4summer.com, and you are just a few clicks away from finding your best summer program. Mm -hmm. So when Maxine and I were talking before we started Blueprint, um, Maxine had mentored many young people here in the region, and I was a former kindergarten teacher. Mm -hmm. We were sort of talking about what, what's the difference? You know, how, uh, what is it that some kids, you know, come away with these really unique experiences? And we came back to it's, it's the availability and access to summer camp. So Mm -hmm. summertime is a perfect opportunity to explore passion help prevent summer learning loss, which we know can lead to long-term learning loss, right? So there's, summer is a win, win, win times a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and yet it can be really tricky for a parent to find the right summer program for their child. That is so, so very blue- true. Yeah. So Blueprint is super easy to use. Once on the site, a parent just puts in the information that's important to them. So we've created a really easy interface where parents can put in, I'm looking for an arts program or a STEM program that's less than five miles from my house for a child that's 11 that costs less than $200 and I need a scholarship or I need before and after care or my son or daughter is gifted or has special needs. And the the database searches through over 7,800 opportunities to find the perfect one that fits your child. You can even sort by lowest cost uh, Mm -hmm. a certain week in the summer. Maybe you have plans for all but that third week in July (laughs) and you're looking for something to fill that week. (laughs) So we've really tried to think about everything. Well, I have five children that are uh, in elementary school, middle school, and upper. So I am so thankful for this. The fact that it's available and pulls all that information together because it has been a, a, a challenge. One to find the right fit, but also where and the cost with multiples, all of that comes into play, and this this simplifies it to a great de- degree, which lowers the stress. Well, I'm glad that you, that you found uh, Blueprint for Summer to be helpful. That's what we hope for all parents. Mm-hmm. A few things to note, one of the things that might be helpful for you is if you create a free account on Blueprint, everything on Blueprint is free. It's free to list a program if you're a summer program operator. It's free for parents to use. It's free for anybody to use. But if you create a free account, you can create a color-coded calendar that syncs all of your kids' activities across one calendar. So you can see all five kids on Ooh. one calendar that will sync with your phone. Oh, so just a few man. extra, you know, things to entice a person to sign up for a free account. So you can email searches to someone, print them out, save them, create a color-coded calendar, all for free. Well, thank the folks that are on your advisory board that knew to include that as an option. It makes a world of difference, but also exposes us to some other great programs that are in the area. 
I think so. Yeah. One of the things is, you know, when we started Blueprint, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm a native St. Louis and I, I have a clear understanding of what summer camps are available in the region. Mm-hmm. Never did I guess that there were over 7,000 right. opportunities. And it's hard for a parent to know. So perhaps your son or daughter has a really unique interest and you're not sure if there's any summer program out there that's talking about insects. Mm-hmm. Well, there are. There's I multiple. And you can yeah. put that into the keyword search <laughs> and find the perfect one. And so um, I think it's really been helpful for some of those smaller summer programs who mm-hmm. have more limited marketing budgets or outreach opportunities to get their name out alongside, you know, some of those more traditional summer camp players we think about. Excellent. Excellent idea and opportunity. Well, name a few that have uh, come up as surprises for you. Yeah, that's always a really fun fun question for me. I think there's a, a, a few specific camps this year, but also one of the cool parts about operating Blueprint for Summer is we see trends. So we're continuing to see cooking camps be really uh, interesting to kids. That. That's funny. I just clicked that. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we see things like cooking with fire or cooking oh, around wow. the world. You know, these really unique themed camps that are meant to bring kids in. Um, we're seeing a continued rise in STEM programs, everything from learning about galaxies to learning how to be an astronaut to building your own architectural city, right, out of, of, of materials to being a maker. Um, and then we're continuing to see some of program providers also build on those really popular pop culture things. So if there's a movie out, they might be a Star Wars program or a Minions program. <laughs> um, so I think that those are really interesting. I think, you know, some of my favorites, I really value those traditional parks and recreation camps. They're often low cost, you know, in the St. Louis City, for example, those are free for St. Louis City residents. Yeah. But they really provide that a little bit of everything. So some art, some sports, some swimming, some, you know, uh, everything for a kid at a really reasonable cost. There was a camp this year that was called Kids Who Care that's uh, about volunteerism, that's oh, really wow. exciting. But there's really everything, you know, there's circus camps and chess camps <laughs> and, you know, there's something for everybody. So I encourage you to put in those criteria, um, you know, color-coded kids about learning how to code yes, and, yes, you know, learning about theme. technology. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, so there's a lot of opportunities all across the region in every zip code, including in Illinois. Mm-hmm. Make sure that, you know, that families really can find what's of interest to their son or daughter. I have. Uh, yes. And I've already run across uh, six of them that I've done favorites. And I'm sorry if I sound distracted, but this is really great. <laughs> That's okay. I got to make myself go to the site after our interview. So make sure you go to blueprint, the number four summer.com. And there's still plenty of great things to do between now and when they return to school. And you most certainly can get a jump on things just by discovering what's out there uh, and what suits your particular needs. I'm looking at categories from academics to art, cooking, dance, drama, music, nature, Sports and certainly STEM, which is an area we're all trying to to boost for our young people and an area of great demand as they enter school and and progress. Well, is there anything that I may have missed that you you want to include and make sure our audience knows about? Yeah, I think one thing I just want to make clear to listeners is that it may be June, but it is not too late to sign up for an enriching summer opportunity. Blueprint tries to make that really easy by taking off opportunities that have passed. So we're not trying to make you search through and find out if something's still available or still coming up. Once those camps have started, they'll fall off of our system and only those that are still upcoming will remain. And so it may be June, but there are camps all the way until the end of August. Mm -hmm. And so please, you can find something that's a day, three days a week, two weeks. There's bound to be something that fits within your schedule, your price range. Um, so don't think it's the middle of June. I missed it. Summer's already started. I'll think about it next year. Yeah. Get on there today and yeah. find something that works. Like I said, I, I hopped on and I've already found like five or six opportunities and we've only been on the phone for about six minutes. So I can't wait to, to dive in. Uh, find out more. Get connected. If you have programs that we should know about, we want to also submit them. Do they submit the same way as the, those that are searching? If you have a summer program and you'd like to list on Blueprint for Summer, send us an email to info at blueprint, the number four, summer.com, and we'll get you signed up right away. All right. Give that to us one more time. 
info at blueprint the number four summer.com that sounds fantastic and we look forward to jumping in and participating and certainly are glad that you all make made this available do you need any help with the programming keeping it keeping it going and support for this effort well, we certainly can welcome support. And then one thing I would say is if, if you're a part of a community organization, do you are you a part of a church that could benefit from making sure that people are aware that Blueprints exist? Are you a part of a book club? Yeah. Um, even if you don't have kids yourself that are in camp age, there's certainly a way for you to share with parents that do and make sure that us uh, together as a community, we're making sure that all kids have access to an amazing summer. That's right. And what a beautiful mission statement that is. And we can easily support you in that. And please give me a call anytime if there's things that more things that you'd like to share uh, with what you guys are doing there. Thanks, Jade. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Allie Seacoat, the program's manager with Blueprint for Summer. And uh, make sure you all just log on. It's blueprint, the number four, summers.com. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to include in the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 314-333-8369, 314-333-8369. And for more information about our show or any of our guests, you can visit us online and listen to the podcast at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search Community Connection with Jade Harrell. You all be blessed, do blessed, and take care.